Exploring the phrase, out on one's feet. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning of a fascinating English phrase, out on one's feet. This expression is not only interesting but also quite common in everyday English conversations. So, let's dive in and understand what it truly means and how you can use it in your daily communication. Out on one's feet is a phrase used to describe someone who is extremely tired or exhausted, but still standing or continuing with their activities. Imagine a boxer who is so tired that they can barely fight, yet they refuse to fall down. This phrase often implies a level of admiration for the person's ability to keep going despite their exhaustion. This idiom has its roots in boxing terminology. It was originally used to describe boxers who were so tired and dazed that they were almost unconscious, yet they kept standing and fighting. Over time, the phrase has been adopted into everyday language to describe any situation where someone is pushing their limits of endurance. Now, let's look at how to use out on one's feet in various sentences. 1. After working a double shift, Sarah was out on her feet, but she still managed to smile at her kids. 2. During the marathon, I saw a runner who looked out on his feet, yet he didn't stop until he crossed the finish line. 3. By the end of the hiking trip, we were all out on our feet but felt a sense of accomplishment. These examples show the phrase used in different contexts, illustrating its versatility. Understanding similar phrases or synonyms can broaden your vocabulary. Here are some, exhausted, worn out, running on fumes, dead on one's feet. These phrases can often be used interchangeably with out on one's feet, but might carry slight differences in nuance. Thank you for joining us in exploring the phrase out on one's feet. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting expression and you feel more confident using it in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is a journey and every new phrase you learn is a step forward. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next video.